There is no need to go to the end of the world in search of sleepy rodents. Groundhogs are evenly dispersed throughout the steppes and forest steppes of Eurasia, from Ukraine and the Volga region to the Siberian expanses, so the search was not long. Groundhogs are unique animals that represent the squirrel family and the rodent family. Despite the fact that marmots are close relatives of squirrels, they prefer to live on the ground, or rather even in burrows that they dig themselves, as part of numerous families. As a rule, marmots prefer to live in families, with each family having its own territory where close relatives reside. Each colony includes several families. Such a colony occupies a rather impressive territory, with an area of up to 5 hectares. Inhabiting the territory of the United States, such an animal has several names, such as ground pig, whistler, fear of trees, or red-headed monk. Interesting fact, if on February 2nd, and this day is called Groundhog Day, this animal will climb out of its burrow, and even on a cloudy day, it can be considered that spring will be early. If the day turns out to be sunny and the groundhog, leaving its burrow, is frightened by its shadow, spring will have to wait another month and a half. The Punxsutawney Phil is considered the most popular. This species of marmot, by tradition, annually predicts the arrival of spring in the small town of Punxsutawney. Groundhogs are distinguished by the presence of a plump body, weighing about 5 and a half kilograms, with an adult body length of about 0.7 meters. It should be noted that, depending on the species, the body length of marmots varies within 0.75 meters. These rodents have rather powerful paws armed with long claws. These are foot-walking animals with a short and wide muzzle. It would seem that the lush forms of the rodent make it sedentary, but in fact marmots move fast enough while they can swim and are even able to climb trees. The marmots have a relatively large head, with eyes positioned so that they can see as much of the living space around them as possible. The ears are relatively small, rounded, and barely noticeable against the background of the fur coat. Numerous vibrissae help marmots to live underground. The teeth are quite powerful and relatively large, with the incisors being particularly developed. The tail is relatively long, covered with dark wool, with a black tip at the end. The wool cover is gray-brown in color, and it is quite dense, but coarse. The lower part of the body, and more specifically the belly area, is rust-colored. Both hind and front legs of the marmot are about 6 centimeters long. It is quite common to see such animals in small groups basking in direct sunlight. Throughout the day, marmots either bask in the sun, look for food, or play with each other. They do not stray far from their burrow. They are very cheerful creatures that run and jump a lot as well as move stones, and they do it quite skillfully. In case of danger, marmots emit a shrill whistle. With their powerful paws and sharp claws, marmots easily dig underground tunnels of various lengths and widths, connecting them to each other, creating a huge underground city. Groundhogs have different variants of dens, both summer ones, which are characterized by a shallow depth and a small number of passages and winter ones, to the construction of which the animals approach more responsibly. Such underground tunnels have the appearance of an art gallery, access to which is more difficult, and the large room is covered with dry grass. In such underground tunnels, marmots can survive the winter cold for six months. These animals are adapted to rather difficult conditions in which they live and breed. Already at the end of September, marmots go down into their burrows to survive the winter cold. From 3 to 15 individuals live in each burrow. Winter hibernation begins in October and ends in April, and the duration of hibernation depends on the nature of climatic conditions. Due to winter hibernation, these animals manage to survive the cold and hunger of winter. In the state of torpor, the physiological processes of their body are significantly slowed down. Body temperature drops from 35 to 5 degrees Celsius, or even lower, while the heart rate drops from 130 beats per minute to 15 beats per minute. Naturally, it is difficult to determine in this state whether the animal is breathing or not. Winter hibernation is characterized by a rather slow consumption of fat reserves that were accumulated by the animal before the onset of winter cold. This allows the animal to sleep for six months like the rest of the family. The ground dog can wake up if the temperature in its burrow falls below 5 degrees Celsius. Despite such facts, marmots do not always manage to survive the winter. It is very important for marmots to winter in a large group, especially if there are offspring, which have a better chance of survival being close to their parents or their relatives. The fact is that they have to warm their bodies by huddling close to the adults. If their parents die, the offspring mostly do not survive. Therefore, 
adults warm not only themselves, but also their cubs, which leads to significant loss of body weight. 